So what did you think of the concert tonight, gentlemen? Did you have a good time? Did you like it? Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, we can start the interview. Let's go. Uh, okay, <laughs> so Messer has been around for 30 years now. Well, maybe a, a hundred years, like I said yeah. on stage. I'm really old, yeah. But, you know, it's one of the first American death metal bands. Yes, sir. It's one of those important bands of the time. Yeah, maybe. No one ever, no one ever speaks of Master. No, no one ever. Oh, speaks. A, a Master was important. Uh, it's a lot of jealousy because a lot of the, a lot of the bands that went on to have bigger success copied Master, and later on in life they admitted it. Like there was a band from California called Terrorizer. They have a new album out. Yeah. Anyway, and uh, on the first album, uh, David Vincent and World uh, Downfall. Yeah, World Downfall. That's what I was just gonna say. But David Vincent and. Uh, uh, Jesse Pinta, uh, Jesse Pinta. Yo, and, and uh, the drummer, what's his name? You know, the, the big famous Pete guy, Pete Sandoval. They were in a band called Terrorizer. Well, that's a song from the master demo. So that's enough. That, that says it all right there. It took him years to admit it, but finally, uh, the drummer, Pete, finally admitted in some magazine, yeah, we were big fans of master. But it took him like 20 years to admit it. Pete, get your head out of your ass. Love you, brother, but tell the truth. Go ahead. So, you know, and then you have two albums that everyone regards as classics. No. Yeah. On the seventh day, God created Master for Instance. Sure. It's, it's an album that's it's still sold for high value. It's still selling now. And, and, you know. We just reissued it twice already in the last five years, and it's selling out every time. It was reissued again two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on two media. Now I have to. Yeah, and they're, they're doing a great job. Yeah, of course. They're selling hundreds and hundreds of them all the time. <laughs> They keep sending yep. me more money and more free CDs and vinyl too. But it's, it's, Thank you. It's strange, man. It just, you just pick up a band with classic albums, people revere that band, and there's no projection, you know, no international projection. Master is like an underground and always will be. Well, I, well actually, I did an interview uh, just last weekend in, in Holland for the Nuclear Blast 25 year movie. That's going to have a clip of. Uh, the song we played today, uh, I fucked up uh, one change. You didn't notice it, but I did. I was angry. But anyway, uh, not a, not on the video for Nuclear Blast. A song called Smile As You're Told I played today. I did a lot uh, wrong little part, but I caught it, thank God, and didn't panic. But anyway, uh, this is going to be on the movie, and uh, I also did an interview for Nuclear Blast last Sunday in Holland as well. So and it, it, paying off? Yeah, it's starting to finally happen. Thank you, Marcus, for putting me in your new movie. You know, uh, back in 2000, around 2000, you went to live to Europe. Yeah, a lot of guys going in and out of the band. Yeah, I joined uh, Kravathor, actually. Kravathor, that was the yeah. reason why I came to Europe. And and uh, ever since I moved to Europe, I've been playing concerts and festivals every year since since 2000. So this was the best thing I could have ever done because in Europe, uh, they show me the respect that I don't want to say I deserve, but maybe. You earned it, yeah. Yeah, I earned, there you go, I earned the respect of the people. Now when I go back to the USA, like I have a tour in March coming up, next few months, and the, the people come to the shows now as well. I had to leave the country to get respect in my own country. But many musicians say this, not just me. Like they they had to Zeppelin. leave, you know. Charles yeah. Zeppelin was the same, he was exiled, and then he yeah, came yeah. back to receive an Oscar and all. All of a sudden you're, you're fantastic now, you know. It's like, yeah. come on. I was fantastic when I started, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you know, when, you made, when, you, when you made that decision to leave to Europe, uh, was it because there was a lot of turmoil within the band? No, there, no, there, no, no, there was an offer to join another band after a tour. I met Kravator. Uh, they were the support band on the uh, Malevolent Creation Master Tour in uh, 1999. I started jamming with the guys. We recorded a project. Their bass player quit. They offered me a job. And I went home and, and worked for six weeks, sold all my shit, moved to the Czech Republic. Two weeks later, I was in Japan. Who made the right decision? I did. How could you turn down a tour in Japan, you know? Okay, I admit, when I was in Japan, the songs were a little bit sloppy. I didn't know them so well after two weeks of practice. They got better as the year progressed, but that's life. But I had a good time in Japan anyway. Yeah, good decision. I just turned the bass down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> years, there's a lot of new old school death metal bands coming up, you know, the new trend, reaching a bit of the 90s, you know, the American yeah. scene, the Swedish scene. Sure. What do you make of it? Do you think they're cool bands, they're good bands? What's your opinion? Uh, I don't listen, to, I, don't, I really don't listen to death metal, but okay, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag right now. 
There's a famous guy uh, called uh, Roga Johansson yeah. from uh, Sweden. Uh, he's a band called uh, Paganizer, and he plays in like 20. And he did a, did a did a uh, some project with uh, Cam Lee, a couple a couple records yeah. as well. Well, anyway, he and I are recording a project right now. He sent me a whole album worth of material, 12 songs, and for the last two weeks I've been in the studio. I recorded the first six uh, this Wednesday coming up, this next week, the next three, the following week, the next three, we're finished. May not be out for three or four months, but it's probably one of the better ones in his career and mine too. I have I have this uh, strange feeling that it may be more successful than Master ever was. We'll see. Yeah, it's a great album. Trust me. You have a label already? Yeah, it's going to be coming out on Vic Records. It's called Johansson Speckman. And I don't, we haven't titled the record yet, but it's Johansson Speckman and then the title, but we'll get there. That's the first, you're the, the first person I told. I haven't told anybody yet. But, okay, so I let the kid out of the bag, so watch for it, yeah? We won't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you seem to, to have joy just playing around everywhere. I, I read an interview where we played in Brazil in the middle of Amazonia. Yeah, yeah, we Small did. Uh, place with 200 inhabitants. Or yeah, something. yeah, we did uh, 22 shows in 2010 in Brazil in a van in seven weeks, and then I was in Brazil uh, with Tumba Productions just this past November. This was a little easier. It was four festivals, hotels. You flew to every concert. It was great. Thank you, Edu. What's your opinion on Portugal? I like it. They, not, they speak the cool? no, they speak the same language as Brazil. Portuguese, hey, <laughs> obrigado, muito bom. You know, that's okay. I like it here. Yeah, you, you seem to it's be a nice a country. That, you, know? you, you seem to be a guy that's in the music for the music, you know, for the fun of it. Okay, I continue to play. I'm for making the rest money. I'm making money, but only in the last 10 years. Before that, I was working my ass off, moving furniture, teaching English, a lot of struggles, you know. But now I'm living from the music. Thank you. But yeah, it, didn't, it wasn't always that way. So you're right, I'm in it for the music, but now at least I don't have to work. That's a nice thing. I have to go into, I have to play 100 and say 100 to 120 shows a year around the world, but it's really not such hard work as some shit nine to five job or, yeah. you know, six to three or, you get what I mean. And you get to Life have, is okay. You get to have the fun. Not you meet a lot of people, you do interviews, you smile, you eat good food, you see beautiful women walking around. <laughs> I'm married, but it doesn't matter, I can still look. <laughs> Just have to be careful, you know, when I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, oh. Cool, anyway. man. Thanks a lot. No problem. More questions or what? You're done? That's yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much done. But you want to say something more for the fans? Yeah, or... man. Great to be here in Portugal. If you didn't come to the show, you missed out. We had a great time. The show was, you know, uh, maybe 90%, but I slept one hour. But rock and roll. <laughs> the show must go on. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you.